Hello guys, this is Mr. Surplus Nut. Um, bringing another part to this series of videos on maintaining your surplus rifles, and we're gonna jump right into it. Um, basically, what you will need is this here. The um, this is what I use. I think it's it's one of the best thing out out there. It's made by Hopi's. It's Hopi's Nine uh, lubricating oil. It's good for metal even the wood if you wanna you don't have to be really careful with this stuff it's really really good um, you can use it for um, mainly the metal surfaces of your rifles and also um, you can even apply it to the wood and it, it it's not gonna hurt it um, but basically it's for the metal but if you get a little bit on the wood, you don't have to worry about it, okay? Um, it will not hurt it. So this is what I use here. And also I use either whatever my wife might have. In this case, she's, she bought the uh, Febri uh, made by um, Febreze Swifter Dust and, Sh and Shine Furniture Spray. Uh, it says that it, sh it cleans, shines, and conditions the wood. But I'd rather use the... Um, what's this other stuff called? Uh, um, pledge, the pledge. To to me, it's a lot better. But anyways, this stuff that works. It's what I have now, and uh, but I'd rather have you guys use the pledge on the wood. Okay, so we're gonna start off by doing this um, Schmidt Rubin K31. Okay, it's got the uh, the birch birch wood. Um, wood stock on it okay so normally what I do is I start off by doing the wood you get a rag it doesn't have to be this big um, you put a liber liberal amount of um, pledge or the uh, swifter on it and you go ahead and you start off by doing your 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 wood okay you want to get it everywhere this stuff also does not hurt the um, the uh, the metal okay but I start off by just you know putting it everywhere on the uh, wood surface okay and just make sure you kind of like get it ev everywhere on the wood okay let's go ahead and, and get the stock here Okay, you just put it on. Make sure before you start doing this, you wash your hands really good. You don't want to have no, um, you know, your hands dirty or full of any residue from anything. Wash your hands really, really good. And then, because at times, wherever you wiped it on, you're going to be grabbing it with your other hand to support the rifle. So, um, basically, just put it everywhere on the stock. Okay, you might want to once in a while get this stuff and put it on the rag again at time you can even if you want put it on the uh, wood itself rub it on you know to get it really good in there and then just give it a good wipe on the wood itself Get it on there. Okay, it doesn't take a whole lot. Then once you have that done, what you want to do, you want to go ahead and make sure it's nice and even, that you have it all over the stock. If you want to flip your rag, usually I just get the Febreze or the Pledge on one end side and that's the one I apply it with and then if you just want to buff it a little bit just turn the rag around when there's nothing on here and just kind of like you know give it a, a wipe down again and you're going to notice how it starts getting really brilliant and, and a lot the wood starts to shine a little more okay it's like a little buffing job like if you were to wax your car you're going to apply the wax and then you take it off and you give it a buff job so basically that's what you do 
Okay, we're gonna go ahead and um, do the end of it of the um, butt end here. Okay, one side should be your your um, buffing side. The other one, you're gonna tell that by feeling it. The other one is your wet side where you're gonna be applying the pledge or the or the um, for breeze, whichever you're gonna use. And okay, just give it a, a good buff on the wood. Okay, that's all it takes. It doesn't take much. Then what I do. I get like a little small uh, piece of uh, cotton material. You can just cut these little things. If you have like an old uh, shirt, just cut a little square like this. The reason why I use this little square like real small like this is because once I get this stuff, the whole piece, and I put it on there, okay, um, you want to make sure that's pretty damp. Usually what I do is, I just had to cut this one for the video, but I couldn't find the ones that I've been using all the time. What I do is, when I'm done with this one, I just kind of like put it in a little small zip uh, lock bag and just reuse this all the time. And it gets to a point where it completely gets full of oil and it stays in there, you know? And you don't have to re-wet it all the time like that. You won't have to use so much of your oil every time you're going to clean it. Um, I couldn't find the one that I've been using, so I just cut this one to start off. And um, and the same thing with your pledge or Febreze rag. You want to put that in a bigger where it's going to fit. It doesn't have to be this big. This is like a real kind of like a real big little towel. But anyways, um, and just keep that stuff for your maintenance. You know, and, and you can use it all the time. So what you want to do, you want to go ahead again, okay? Kind of like fold it like in a small uh, size like this. Wet it. And then just go ahead on this one. We're going to start off with uh, what's exposed here, the, the muscle end, the barrel. And just be very liberal on putting this stuff on. Okay, just work it in there everywhere. You can tell right away, I mean, that it starts picking up the, the oil. This stuff is so thick and good. It stays on there. And... Um, Okay, you want to put it on the rings here that holds your handguard, your bayonet log here. Just put it everywhere. So, uh, that's why I like it small like this because you can kind of just work it with your two fingers and, and see how I'm doing with my two fingers. You, if you got a real big rag and you know it's going to be hard to um, get the oil on there and for you to you know maneuver the little oil rag or the piece of rag full of oil where you can get it everywhere okay so that right there you see how I'm doing it that's picking up all that I can tell right away once you the oil starts uh, getting on that metal you can see the change where it's getting lubed and it looks nice and shiny okay again I use the Febreze or the pledge first and you know wipe down the wood stock and then when I put this little oil on, on the metal, I don't worry about it. Some of the oil gets on top of that Febreze or Pledge that I did the stock. Because supposedly what the bottle says, it also works for wood. So you want to move up a little bit to the other ring over here. Okay, and just put it on there. See how I'm kind of like going a little bit outside into the wood, but that's not going to hurt it. Okay. Then you go ahead and we're going to get into the receiver. Let me wet the little rag again. A couple of little drops on there. And you should be good to go. Okay, so we're going to start doing the receiver. You know, the part of the bolt that's exposed. The rear side leave. All metal, all metal part that you have exposed, you want to get the stuff on there. And I can tell right here where it's picking it up really good. Okay. And, and, and leave it wet. I mean, if, you, if it goes on there, you don't have to spread it so much. As long as you get it everywhere. And you want to leave it like that. Okay. You want to leave it, you know, nice and, and lubed up. Okay. A good film of oil everywhere. 
you want to bring up the rear sight just like that okay and hit the back of it in here in all your metal surfaces you want to cover everything okay like that bring this thing back up got the back of it okay bring this down the rear leaf side okay and you can tell I mean by looking at it you can tell that it, it completely now you're bluing on the metal surfaces they'll start to shine okay now you can tell I don't know if you guys can see how that has gotten a little darker okay it's not the bluing or anything that's coming off it's just you know over time the old um, oil that was there on the on the surface it, it'll pick up lint and, and a little bit of dust in your gun safe or whatever and that's basically what you're wiping off that's why it turns that color but it doesn't mean that your bluing is coming off this stuff will not take the bluing off okay it's just that's how it happened that's how it is okay again all these weapons here that I have on this table for the safety check guys they are completely empty I don't keep these things loaded in my safe or I'm not gonna load them up to make a video obviously so check uh, safety check guys please leave your comments out if you're gonna be negative about it oh you didn't safety check the weapon give me a break okay you guys have seen that on my videos and if you are new to this channel subscribe to me I really really appreciate it you guys that subscribe okay we're gonna go underneath here and do the trigger guard and the mag Oh yeah, it's, it's picking it up nice, man. You know? There you go. This stuff, it will not hurt your gun. This stuff is the best thing I found. I use it all the time. Okay, and that's basically what I do. And I've never had a problem with pitting, rusting. Okay, nothing like that. And... It's not re doesn't really take a whole lot of time, okay? Just to do your let's do the uh, button here. Okay, just like that. See how now it's got that nice shine to it. All right, so we're gonna come back to this uh, videos in a little bit.